Welcome, welcome, welcome to In The Lounge with Dre and V. I am your co-host, Queen V. And I'm sorry, y'all, I don't have a song today. Dre, he wasn't prepared, so I apologize. please. Anyway, I am your co-host, Queen V, and I have with me the beaming. Yes, I am. <laughs> and brilliant. Yes, I am. Who they call Dre. What up, Dre? Queen V, what's good? What's going on? How are you doing today? I'm all right. Mine is my song. I'm good. I won't address that. I just want to get on with the show. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. I'm tired of talking about the, that thing. Every time we come on, you ask for that. We will be okay. All right. All right. So, how you been? You been doing all right? I'm good. Okay. All right. All right. Welcome to In The Lounge with Dre and V. Episode 27. Wow, 27. 27 episodes. Wow. Anyway, episode 27. Why are men prone to cheat? And today's going to be a pretty good topic. You know, got some information I'd like to share. Of course you From do. some reliable sources. Of course you do. Uh, you know, so let's get this episode started. But you know what? A word from our sponsors. I forgot. Forgot all about that. How can I forget the sponsors? Today's episode is brought to you by Exalt. Exalt is a line of t-shirt and accessories that portray African Americans in a positive light. Exalt has t-shirts available for men, women, and children. Purchase your t-shirt now at www.exalt.net. That's H, excuse me, that's X. H A L T dot net. Shut up, both of y'all. <laughs> I'm talking to my guests because I'm reading this off of a piece of paper. Like, what kind of? Did they pay for the advertisement? What kind of advertisement is that? Excuse me. X H. Let me do it over. Let me do that one over. No, I'm going to do it over and I'm going to keep this. I'm gonna do, wait, wait. I'm going to do a Dre. I'm going to do a Dre impersonation. I do not represent his Whatever. advertisement. You suck. <laughs> you suck ass, Queen V. Forget you. Look. Today's episode is brought to you by Exalt. Exalt is a line of... Uh, <laughs> I'm not taking this out either. Look, today's episode is brought to you by Exalt. Exalt is a line of t-shirts and accessories that portray African Americans in a positive light. Exalt has t-shirts for men, women, and children. Purchase your t-shirt today at exalt.net. And if you can't spell it, too bad. Because I spell it every week and I'm not doing it anymore. Next. All right. So, we got an exciting show for you today, Queen V. Queen v, that, I'm telling you. And, and what I'm most happy about is we got somebody back in the building. We got somebody who's been here before. I got to draw. I, I'm drawing this out because I'm so excited. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to describe her the same way I did last time. Okay. I got that right here, too. I wrote it down. I'm going to describe it the same way. Where's my paper at? Hold on a second. <laughs> I can't Foolishness. Find it. Seriously? Okay, so we have <laughs> the queen of Hampton, Newport News, and every daggone place around here, Hampton Roads, the gunslinger who carries a gun and I didn't know about it. <laughs> We got Ree in the building. Ree, welcome back, baby. Hey, that would be me. <laughs> That's Everything right. And she said, said that too. She said that would be me. We got deja vu up in here, man. We up in the lounge, deja vu like a mug. All right, so Ree, welcome. Good to have you back. Thank you. Thanks for having me back. You ready to talk about some of the stuff that we're going to talk about? Of course. I can always count on you to give me some good stuff. So, y'all know what it is. Before we get into the show, we're going to have Queen V's word on the street. Queen V, take it away. It's the queen, y'all. It's the queen, y'all. Place your ear to your speaker and get ready for Queen V's word on the street. It's the queen, y'all. It's the queen, y'all. what's going on in our makeshift studio. 
but this fool is a nut. I think he's been sipping. <laughs> I think he's been sipping on my spiked grape soda. In oh. <laughs> Ain't nothing in my, in my orange, uh, not orange yeah. juice, orange soda. Ain't nothing in my orange soda. Go ahead. Y'all crazy. Stop, <laughs> y'all, y'all corny. Leave me alone. So, word on the street is Carmelo Anthony and Lala have separated and are headed to divorce court. Ooh. So, the word is Carmelo got a stripper pregnant. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to just leave that right there and let that marinate a little bit. Everybody need a side piece. Even For real? me. Even me. But who does that? Like, you get the stripper pregnant. <laughs> she didn't catch that. I said that on purpose. So she I'm not paying him out. no mind because you know, you know I'm crazy. That. You know I love you. <laughs> I don't even need your gun, Ree. I'm gonna just quick side. I'm gonna just slice and dice. You know where it is. The quickest side piece I need right is, is probably be at a fast food restaurant. That's all I need. I, that's all I need. Go ahead. I'm sorry. His side piece is that Mac. <laughs> that might be true. Because yeah, that that might be true. I love my Mac. Um, no, but seriously, like, I mean, if you're gonna do a stripper, you need to strap up. Like, who getting a stripper pregnant? It feels good without that. That's stupid. But That's stripper, just though. dumb. The stripper? She might be clean. Who told you that? All strippers if don't she have doing him, she like that. doing everybody else. All strippers for, ain't dirty. For a price, she'll do everybody I'd else. I'd bang her for a dollar. I, I, I can't with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you. But seriously, I'm like... out of my mind today. Go ahead. What? what? The, a stripper? Like, you, your wife. This is your wife. Your baby, your, your, the mother of your child, like, yeah, you, you gonna know. screw all of that up for a stripper? Well, I'm not making excuses, but when you're in the limelight, and I'm gonna talk about that, you know, that that's a contributor to, you know, why men are prone to cheat. Like, when you're in the limelight and you got all that ass hanging around you, you look to the left, ass. Look to the right, <laughs> ass. Look up, ass. Look down, ass. You start to just, you know, you know, it's all around you. You know, not that I would be like that. I'm not, but I'm just saying... When you're a star, it's all, it's always coming at you. And anything can set you off. You know, an argument. Ah, I'm mad at her. You know what? I was just mad. I, I just I just. But that ain't it. no reason for you to drop your pants and stick it in anything that's roaming the street. Uh, well, you know. Bare bone? Well, Seriously? I don't know. I don't know the circumstances of what happened, but, you know, he could have. I heard that they, they've been having some issues. I think, uh, Rhi, you were saying they've been having some issues about trade. You know, him getting traded to a different team. So maybe... Uh, you that know, that's why they were that's a kind poor of excuse. going down. You know, they were already, like you said, they were already arguing and, you know, the stripper was available. Poor excuse. Poor for, excuse. For after work activities. Poor excuse for cheating. I agree with that. That is a poor excuse for cheating, but he did what he did. Men are dogs. And now he got to pay the price. Not all exactly. men. Men are dogs. Got to, now he got to pay the price. Now you out there trying to beg for her forgiveness. I know. He on Instagram liking her pictures and stuff. Get out of here. <laughs> that's so you could have liked the real thing, but you screwed up. <laughs> that's so corny. Exactly. Yeah. Liking pictures. You should have liked it when you did your thing. Should have thought exactly. about it then. But anyway, I don't want to sound like I'm on the women's side, but um, you know, I I, I guess I am. Right? Yes. Good answer. I'm, yeah, I'm right. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> But you know, I seen this thing on Facebook. I I thought it was quite funny. I don't know who posted it, but it had a whole bunch, it had four different women who were not skinny. And it says something about see chubby bitches, skinny women get cheated on too. And it was a picture of Lala. What's the girl from Love and um, Hip Hop New York? I mean, Atlanta. Waka Flocka's... Um, uh, Tammy. Tammy. Tammy and two other ones. So I thought that was quite funny. You don't think so? No. I don't... I don't what I'm, does the size have to do with a man Yeah, I'm, on I'm confused. Well, you know... People be like, yo, why would you cheat on her? She fly. I don't need to cheat. My baby fly. So what you saying? Because I got curves. I'm not fly. I'm not saying that. What That's I'm what saying. That's what sound like you saying. No. Z like taking his way out of That's what sound like you saying. Anyway, okay. forget I said that. Forget about it. <laughs> the point of it was saying, hey, look, people, you know, stop, please. <laughs> Everybody gets cheated on. That was the point. Everybody gets cheated on no matter how fly you look. But now. You started off with the skinny girls get cheated on too, so. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, it said. What did it say? It said, chubby girls, see? Skinny bitches get cheated on, too. So, I guess just, people... Just, I guess you what know the, what? No, no let, me finish, just go let me finish this. Let me finish my thought. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish my thought. I guess, it, I guess what I'm saying is that... He just gonna keep digging a hole. People say, like, some guys cheat because they women don't, they women don't look as good as they used to or they gain weight or whatever. But, doesn't like, they were saying it doesn't matter. Skinny girls get cheated on, too. 
Forget about it. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. It's going to make me sick sometime. I swear I do. So I got one more thing. I'm not going to talk about reality TV. <laughs> Thank you. Time. Thank you. Whatever. I'm going to let it go. But I heard today, now I don't know how true it is, but I had heard that R. Kelly apparently was, okay, there was his deputy. <laughs> I don't want to talk about R. No, Kelly. No, no. This is over. You know I love me some R. Kelly, but listen. The only thing R. The, Kelly can do is tell me what's on sale at Toys R Us. That I was wouldn't low. Even allow him to tell me that. That's, that was what? That was low. You are innocent until proven guilty. Damn, R. Kelly. He <laughs> pissed on somebody, too. <laughs> How do you know that? Were you watching? Again. No. Friends told me. Anyway. camera. Listen, I didn't see it because I don't watch Thank child you. pornography. I, you know, I know why. I, I don't you. watch child you pornography. On my side, so Reed. I haven't seen it. So you always on my side. I like that. Anyway, forget about R. Kelly. Let's get started with this show. All right, here we go. Damn R. Kelly. I'm not giving that man the time of the day. That Bama got kicked out of the garden. What but the this hell? is a long time ago. Remember? Oh, he you got mean banned? the garden? I thought you meant like a garden with flowers. No, you no. Wow. The garden. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, you were really on R. Kelly. Anyway, you? let's yeah, let's get on with this show. All right, here we go. So today's <laughs> so today's episode, we're gonna talk about why men are prone to cheating. Okay, now before you say anything, because I had a, some feedback on Facebook too, and there is some research that proved that men are more prone to cheat than women. So I'm not just making this up. I don't feel like giving you the resource right. I mean the source right now, but I will put it on the web page and it'll be in the show notes. So. You can see it then. I might mention it, but trust me, this is reliable information. So men are more prone to cheat than women, but that's not the that's not the topic matter. But I'm just saying, I just want y'all to know that. So why do you think Queen B? Today, Queen B, you want something? Shut up! Damn, <laughs> can't even talk. God, I'm gonna do what my kids do. God, National Smoking Weed Day was last week. I don't week, smoke right? it anyway. <laughs> I thought so tired of it. I'm a little confused as to what's going on right now. Whatever. Anyway. Okay. So look, let me ask. Let me start out like I always do. I'll start out with our guest, Re. Yes, sir. Why are men prone to cheating? Prone to cheating or more prone to cheating? I say prone to cheating because more prone means I'm having a comparison between them and another group of people, like women. Now, if I was talking about comparing women and men. I say I would say, why are men more likely to more prone to cheat than such and such? But we are talking about men and men only in this episode. Why are men prone to cheat? Got it. Thanks Thank for the you. clarification. <laughs> Re, you may continue to answer. Well, you have some men that just like to have a cake and eat it too. Amen. And then if the woman allows them to continue to do what they're doing with their ways, that's what they're going to do. They're going to cheat and they're going to continue to cheat. So now when you talk about all these women in the side pieces, nowadays the woman doesn't want to be the side piece. So she wants to step on the toes of the main woman. Some of these women need to stay in their lane and stay in their place. You mean like the the haters? Exactly. (laughs) But... The man is allowing that to happen because he's letting that side chick think that she has more power than his main woman. Yep. So whatever they doing with the side chick is going to their heads. And that's what's causing them to cheat, you think? It's a lot that's causing them to cheat. Okay. Some of them just can't take whatever's going on at home. That's good. That's a true. That's a good point. That's a good point. Queen V. I agree with everything she said. I knew you was going to say that. (laughs) Don't take the carrot way out. Answer the question. No, I agree with everything she said. In addition, I think sometimes, too, it has to do with ego. It's like y'all got to get your ego stroke. So, you know, if so-and-so is, like, feeling you, even though you know you're not supposed to be over there doing her, you're going to do her anyway because she's telling you that you're cute or whatever. Like, it's an ego thing. Like, it makes y'all feel like a man. Because you got all these women in your bed. And really, it's disgusting. Personally, and, I think. And you know what their excuse is? She's doing something that you won't do. Yep. Oh, you mean like that 80-20 rule thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, let me tell you what I think. 
Okay. You got a list? I might have said it before. I got something with a list. I got. Okay. I, we can we can go through I'm each one. I'm just making sure because you know you're a little can, off today. So I was no, thinking no, no. maybe we're gonna get through without a list. No, we can analyze some of the things <laughs> I have written down. But I'm one of them is already on. What I'm about to say is already on here. I can't talk today. I don't know. I'm not editing anything. <laughs> so if you feel that you know I'm getting on your nerves with my stuttering and all that, your mama does it. So oh well. <laughs> that was wrong. I'm just joking. Just joking. Wow. Love my listeners. Just joking. All right. So I think it's the limelight. I said that already. I think it's the limelight. When if you are, and not all men are superstars, but oh, so we talk about celebrities? No, no, or we no, no, about no. Regular men? No, I was saying, I was saying that in reference to like superstars, but in terms of um, like just an ordinary Joe Schmo type of guy, I would say. They're more prone to cheat, I would say, because they want to feel needed. Interesting. You know? Elaborate. Yeah. Well, okay, here's the thing. I got, I'm going to pull out my list. <laughs> Let me just turn my page here. Hold up. <laughs> Seriously, I cannot with this dude right now. Episode 25, 26, 20, oh, 27. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. So, I'm real corny today. This episode is not going as smooth as I thought, but you as the <laughs> listeners will never know because all you're doing is listening to audio. You're not seeing what's going on. Oh, Lord. You're not seeing everything. Okay, so here we go. There's seven types of men that are likely to cheat, Okay. But you didn't answer the question. You going down your list going, and you didn't I'm, answer no, no, your no. question. I'm, it's related to this. Give him a chance. Let's hear him out. She never gives me a chance. Let's you see what out. I'm saying? She doesn't wait for, you know, the correlation between what I'm about to say and what I just said. Okay. Does that make you want to go out and cheat? No. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. So, I would say, on this list, I think men are prone to cheat because... Well, this is the possibility. Since I'm not just going to say because. I'm just going to say it's possible that they are more prone to, well, prone, they're prone to. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. Is this a sensitive subject? No, thing? no, it's not. Give me the damn right, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, wait. Men are prone to cheat. Not all of them, but if the female is the breadwinner, that makes a man more prone to cheat. Ask me why. Why? Let's just say, well, you make more money than I do, right? Yeah, you do, of course, by a long shot. Why the hell did I ask that? I ain't ashamed of nothing. Let me tell you. Wait, I, let me. I'm, a little side note, real quick. I gotta stop. The, I gotta. I just gotta get on to what. Don't you put about. my salary on this no, no, podcast? No, no, no. no. <laughs> whatever. You know, he off his rocket today. I don't know what he might do. Whatever her salary is plus mine still equals the same amount. Now, if I put mine first and then hers and add it together, it's still the same amount. That's my money. Now, now what I meant by that, when I said the husband um, may be prone to cheat because the woman's the breadwinner, he may feel useless. Like, I feel like less of a man because you make more money than me. So that can have him go out and say, look, I'm going to get a woman that needs me where I can feel needed because right now, my wife or my my girl, she don't even need me. I'm, I just feel useless. That's just stupid. That's not stupid. That, that is that's stupid. You need, to go, you, need to go yes. sit, you need to go sit on somebody's couch and get some counseling because that's just dumb. Because that's all you're going to do is take my money and try to spend on the side piece because I make more than you. No, no, right. no, no. Yeah. That's not stupid. That's stupid. That's legit. No. Not, it's, a, it's a legitimate reason why a man is prone to cheat. But if we in this together and we supposed to be as one, then it shouldn't matter how much money I'm making over you as long as everything in the household so, is being taken care of. I exactly. feel that way. And let's reverse men. that. So if I'm making more money than you and I feel like I don't need you, is that a reason for me to go out and cheat? No, but you know what? The man is supposed to take care of his family. He's supposed to be the breadwinner. So a woman, may, if she's not the breadwinner... You know, it's probably no big deal to a woman because women don't have egos like men. Men got big egos. The men want to be, you know, the breadwinner. They want to be this and that. The ego gets in the way. 
No, there are some women with egos now. Let's let's back that up. Not that will not oh, that yes, you care there about. Is. There are. Yes, not there the are. ones that who care who would care about how much money they make. Uh, yes, they do. Who? You, you could get some women who say if you're not making the same amount that I am, or you can't bring to the table what I bring, I don't want to deal with you. There are some women that are out there like a that. lot of them. Well, you'd be surprised. Well, I think it's legitimate a legitimate answer. Because men with egos, they can't handle their women or their woman making more money than them. Is this before you got with her or after you got with her that you found out she was making it more It don't than matter. You, that your ego kicked in. It don't matter. But that's a... But it's funny how your ego will allow you to stray, but you still over there spending her money. Exactly. Well, that's the way the game goes, but On I'm just saying. On the next woman. No, no, no. I'm just saying, like, that's a good reason. That's you, I mean, because how you taking that other I'm woman out? I'm not saying out. it's a good reason. You taking just... that other woman out on her dime? Exactly. Yeah, but look, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, so that makes you feel like a man we, because you using her money but, to take another woman out. Let me draw y'all back to the point. The man wants to feel needed. Okay, so if he has a woman that is not making him feel needed, he may be prone to cheat. So you need to take my money to go spend it on another woman so you can feel needy. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. There are men who are like that. What's I your, may know one bullet? or two. Move on, because I'm about to get pissed. What's your no. next bullet point? I hate um, you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Ooh. IT guys. Did you know IT guys are more um, prone to cheat than... Oh, no. You know. But I, it's basically, it's saying IT guys will cheat, too. They're more prone to cheat than certain men. Why? You didn't write that it down? It says here because... <laughs> <laughs> Elaborate. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so just, I, forgot to, I forgot to get that information. This, I know I'm doing a bad job today, y'all, and I'm sorry, but I'm not editing this. <laughs> I'm just telling you that now. Wow. So if there's any critics out there who say, you know, you know who want to hate on me, whatever... This is the podcast to listen to, this particular episode, because I'm not doing that well. I'm not I'm not on point today. You're not representing the men. Let me see the well. list. No. Heck no. Let me see the me list. Me giving you this list is like me giving you tickets you, to a, a football game or why? something. Because you don't belong in football. Why not? It's a man's game. Let me see the list. No. Because you're not you're having a hard time getting through it. I'm not so. having a hard time. Okay. So IT guys are more prone to cheat. Is that because they are cheating online? Is that because they're doing the virtual? Or they can hide it better. I forgot to write down why. But, but what's I would your, gladly what's your direct everybody to the source. What's your educated guess? I would say, you don't have to be lonely at farmersonly.com. All right, let's move on because you're getting on my nerves. So what's number three? Seriously, you're getting on my nerves. What's number three? I can't. <laughs> Oh, hey, look out. Let me, let me hurry up before he now walks off the set. Thinking? <laughs> he's just sitting there. He's trying to mess like with me. No. He, he, he picking with me at uh, this so, point. So, okay, look. Social media guys. Social media guys. What do you mean social cheat. media guys? What do you mean by social media guys? Uh, guys People who, that have a social media account? No, guys who spend an excessive amount of time on so, uh, social media. That's just the guy that don't have no life. Hey, I'm just saying they're more prone to, they're prone to cheat, rather. Then that's because they're on. But are they prone to cheat in person, physically, or are we talking about online? It doesn't sex? matter. Cheating is cheating. Didn't you say that? I did. I'm just day? trying to clarify. Yeah. Because well, you're not doing a great job not, at that. I'm not today. specifying today. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. This episode is not that great today. Okay. <laughs> anyway. All right. So let me give you another one. Uh, intelligent men. Intelligent men are prone to cheat. And I did get the reason for that. And it says here. That's class. And this was um, this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway. <clears throat> it says here, uh, intelligent men have more resources to, you know, to cheat. More money. I would say more, more money, homes. intellectual. Like, you know, they know more people, you know, they know people in big places and. You know, they're important. You know, they may know some important people. No. Well, that... I hey. mean, it, I, I don't I don't know that I necessarily agree with that. 
is the reason. I mean, I think that, in t- you know, maybe if, if they have a better, if they're making more money, they have more resources to wine and dine someone. I mean, but it don't matter whether you intelligent, dumb, rich or poor. I mean, I had this guy the other day. I'm in the Burlington Coat Factory, right? And the guy comes up to me and he's like, oh, are you married? And I say, yes. So he walks away. This man stalks me for like five minutes, comes back and says, can we have some fun on Facebook? I can guarantee you he's not an intelligent man, nor a very rich one. If he was shopping in Burlington with my saying, book, but. I'm not saying all men. Some intelligent men have resources to do such as cheat. Okay. I'm just saying the dumb ones do too. Yeah, but I'm talking about like. Or I think I think maybe what they're saying is because they're intelligent, they have they have better paying jobs and, and more so people they coming have, at them too. More women coming at them because they speak intelligently. Better yeah, ways to be. hide it as well. Yeah. yeah, and then they're they're talking charming, more, they're more charming, charming than somebody okay. on the street. Okay, I get so, that. So you know, an intelligent that. guy might you know come up to you. Hey, you know how you doing? Uh, you know, did you read such and such this book? Uh, love the book, love the you know whatever. Or they can come up to you like that guy did and actually want to have fun on Facebook. Yeah, I mean, so men are just... Difference. That was a dumb question. That was real dumb. That was dumb. Do I don't know even know name? what that means. Does, do you know his name? I didn't ask him his name. I know. I got a surprise at the end of the show. No, I didn't ask him his name. <laughs> that was dumb. No, there was this guy, another guy. I don't know necessarily that he was out there cheating because, I mean, I don't know that he had got a girlfriend, but I was at a wine festival and he offered to buy me a glass of slushy. And so I told him, no, thank you. And then I ended up getting a tumbler of the wine slushy. And he's like, oh, so you got your slushy. I said, yeah, if you're going to come to me, how you going to holler at me with a $5 glass? Exactly. I done bought myself a $15 tumbler. <laughs> well, I ain't really buying my girlfriend bought it, but that's not the point. My point is, I told the man, I said, go big or go home. He going to laugh, tell him something, have a good day. He ain't going to be a good cheater. <laughs> <laughs> Not he ain't got all. good game. All right, so look. So I see what you're saying, because the intelligent brother would have bought me the $15 slushy. Yeah. yeah. And I got you. Okay. All right. It's, 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 Glad we starting to connect. Too bad yeah. the show going to be over in about <laughs> 20 minutes, uh, 15 minutes. I mean, minutes. it's your fault. You ain't prepared. It is my fault. I'm, I'm supposed to be the unprepared one. You over there like, uh, what? <laughs> Hold on. Let me flip through some pages. Uh, wait a minute. What are we talking about again? I'm sorry. I digress. Anyway. You have any more bullet points? We I done? Got, yeah, I got some more. I got one more. Oh, congrats. All right, so okay, look. Go ahead. Pressure of the homies. Mm. So look, and I've been through this before, and luckily, I'm just cocky. I'm so cocky and arrogant that I don't give a damn about what people think of me. But you have some guys who, you know, we're with the homies, you know. You know, it's six guys and six women, and, you know... Yeah, I want to go out. Let's go. Let's leave this joint. Let's go do something. Let's go hang out. Whatever, you know. Y'all get to a hotel, whatever. Where you, wherever you at. And you don't want to be the one that, nah, I'm, I'm leaving or whatever. Nah, nah, I, I, you know. Because then you're going to look like you you soft or, what you, you know, you must be, you're a punk, man. I mean, you ain't no man, you know. Come on, man. Just go ahead and hit that. So it could be peer pressure from uh, their homies, other friends, for those who don't know what homies are. Good? No? Yes? No? Now, I've seen it, so we can't deny it because I've seen it. I actually... I've been the one at... As a matter of fact, none of my friends... This was a long time ago in college. None of my friends... <laughs> Sounds you like see how you're trying to justify that. Mm-hmm. None of my friends Because you know he's going to be hanging out with ever, his boys next week. Go ahead. Carry none on. None of my friends <laughs> have ever forced me or... They ain't even like that. The dudes I hang with, they ain't even like that. So you'd never have to worry about that. But when I was... I ain't worried. You know, long time ago. Because you already know. I'm slicing and dicing. Whatever. I got the gun. And she got the gun. Yeah, oh gosh. Anyway, <laughs> y'all crazy. <laughs> but it's happened to me. They didn't come out and say, oh, you need to do that, do this or that, you know. But, you know, I'm out. I don't want to even sit with you because it could be viewed as me doing something. Why do I need to follow That's correct. what other people do? You're absolutely right, but... Some ignorant people don't look at it as being a a leader. You know, those guys wouldn't have looked at it like that. They respect me, though. So, there it is. So, I need your final thoughts. Why are men prone to cheat? 
Final thoughts. Well, I'll start. So I think based on your list, great list, what part of parts of it you had, by the way, um, <laughs> I think, you know, based on your list, I think it boils down to ego. Like men, like their ego stroke, they have to feel wanted and needed. And, you know, for some reason, they need a woman to to do that. And I, I think it's stupid. I mean, it's like you can't just be happy with this one woman. You got to go have side chicks, you know. And then you get so caught up. Men are so dumb. You get caught up. Like Reese said, you get so caught up that you forget the side chick is the side chick. And next thing you know, your side chick trying to be a main woman. And that ain't how it work. But you didn't got yourself caught up out there being dumb and stupid that now you got problems. And now you ain't got nobody like Carmelo. He got a baby on the way. He got he got child support on the way and alimony on the way. But he over there sitting by himself liking pictures of his wife. On Instagram. All right. That's your final thoughts, Queen V? For now. All right. Until you interrupt me, right? Exactly. I got some tricks for you behind. Watch what I do. <laughs> Ree! Yes. Final thoughts. My final thought again, it goes back to I'm agreeing with V, everything that she had to say. As the fact that some of these guys, why should I have to stroke your ego all the time? And to your one of your bullet points with you saying, I make more and you make less, that shouldn't be a problem because if we're together, we're in it together. So it, irregardless of how much money I make, we still should be happy. Your ego should not get in the way of that. And if you have a problem with how much you're making, then you should do something about it. <laughs> Speak on it. <laughs> All right. That's a good point. Real good point. All right. I second that. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> what is wrong with you tonight? I'm telling you, we had something in that orange soda. Uh -huh. So. My final thoughts. He's um, thanking you guys. Okay. So, my final thoughts. <laughs> I can see the thinking cloud above his head. It's empty, though. So you're going to have to give him a minute. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Reed, for your final thoughts. We will now have Stu Nod of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what Wait it is. Wait a minute. Wait a Stu minute. Stu Nod of the Week is that stupid person that Wait does stupid things on a stupid time. What? What? <laughs> You want a student of the week. I'm going to take over this. No, thing. no, no. No, no, no. I'm taking no, over this segment. Me. You are the no, student no, no. of the week? No. How the hell are you just going to say, here's my final, final thoughts, thought. and then just move on? Edit. Edit. Look. Done. Let's stop and get serious, all right? So now look. Wow. Now. We will now have Stu Nod of the Week. Y'all know what it is. Stu Nod of the Week is that stupid person that does stupid things on a stupid time. This week's Stu Nod of the Week comes out of Hampton, Virginia. Why are you yelling? Oh. <laughs> we will now have Stu Nod of the Week. Y'all know what it is. Stu Nod of the Week is that stupid person that does stupid things on a stupid time. This week's student out of the week comes out of Hampton, Virginia. I'm just going to say it. I am the student of the week. <laughs> Never in the history of In the Lounge and of Dre and V have I made myself student out of the week, but I am. I am student out of the week because I could not get my thoughts together in this episode. I apologize. This is one of the more kind of like Episodes that didn't run too smooth. <laughs> but I'm sure I'm, I'm glad you guys got some comedy out of it. <laughs> so, Andre, a.k.a. Dre, from In the Lounge with Dre and V, you are a student out of the week. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I can't go on. All right. I can't. I you can't, can't go on. All I right. I can't do words of wisdom after this. So. I can't. <laughs> We will now have, look, we will now have Queen V's words of wisdom. Queen V, take it away. 
A real man chooses to honor, love, respect, adore, and be faithful to one woman. When you choose to stray, you choose to dishonor, disrespect, and be unfaithful to that person. If you choose to stray or you choose that you no longer want to be in that relationship, be man enough to say, hey, this is not the relationship for me and we need to go our separate ways. Don't bring someone else into a relationship and just tear apart everything. Not tear apart not only your marriage or your relationship with that person, but tear apart their self-esteem and their trust and loyalty to you. That's all I got. And there you have it. Queen V's words of wisdom. And that'll do it for episode 27 of In the Lounge with Dre and V. Re, I'd like to thank you for being a guest on the show again. Thank you for having me. And I will have you again. I will be on a more of a uh, together mission, okay. if you will. A little bit more together. So I appreciate you for coming on the show. Thank you very much. No problem. Queen V, you did it again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in and listening and putting up with us today, especially today. We thank you so much for listening. Don't forget, if you missed any of the episodes, you can listen to these episodes at weinalounge.com slash episodes. There you will have a choice of episodes 1 through 27 to listen to. Whatever one that you choose is fine. I'm glad you didn't say one, two, three, four, five, six. Shut up. <laughs> Again, thank you for tuning in, listening to In the Lounge with Dre and V. And that'll do it. We are out of here. Peace. Peace.